right. So um, in this problem, what they're asking us to do, sorry, is to find the value of x. All right. And we're going to be able to do it by using the Pythagorean theorem. So there's a couple things we need to remember about a Pythagorean theorem. Um, first of all, we can only apply the Pythagorean theorem when we have a right triangle. All right. So we need to make sure we have a right triangle. And then also, remember from the right triangle, the opposite side is what we call our hypotenuse. And then the other two sides are our legs. And the relationship between the sides of a right triangle with the two legs and the hypotenuse is the square of, of the sum of two legs, or when you take the sum of the square of both legs, that equals the hypotenuse squared, right? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we look at this triangle and we say, OK, well, I see that right angle thing here, but I don't really know how I'm going to find x, right? Well, the best thing, guys, I would tell you is we're, we need to use this triangle right here to be able to find the measure of x, right? So a lot of times in geometry, guys, you're going to have these crazy, crazy pictures. And a lot of time, what I think is very helpful is just to take that picture out. Flip that over, please. Thank you. So just to take that out and just focus on what triangle you're trying to work with. So we're just trying to work with this one. So the only thing I know right now is x and 15. That's all I know right now. But now, let's go and see. Can we determine this is the right angle? If this is a line and that's 90 degrees, can we, can we assume then or prove that that has to be 90 degrees, right? If it creates a line, then we know that's going to be a linear pair, right? Where two, two angles make up a line are also supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So if one's 90 degrees, that means this has to be 90 degrees. So therefore, I can now show that that's 90 degrees. All right. Um, where else was that? And I believe also this says that this is also going to be your bisector. This is your perpendicular bisector. I don't have the exact problem um, right in front. But it says this is going to cut this in half. So if this whole side is 16, what would you then assume that both of these sides are going to be? 8 and 8. So now we can say that that's 8 and that's 8. So now, ladies and gentlemen, I can apply the Pythagorean theorem. I have two legs and a hypotenuse. Okay. So now it's going right out the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, I have 8 squared plus 15 squared equals x squared, where x is going to represent my c. All right. 8 squared is 64. 15 squared is 225 equals x squared. Then I add those up together. So I have 289 equals x squared. And <coughs> see if I can simplify that any further. And the square root of 289 is 17, which I did not have memorized yet. So x is going to equal 17. OK, questions? That was your answer. I know I graded all those correctly because I had a, a lot of zeros and eights.